exciting time for innovation, especially when it came to electronic music. Imagine wanting to create something like jazz, but not having access to the instruments, the bandmates, or recording studio and gear to do so. With the advent of things like samplers and romplers, a person in their bedroom could have a go at producing as a one-man band. And I think this resulted in a truly unique crossover of genres and techniques. And one of those is my favorite, 90s down tempo. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I created this smooth, jazzy down tempo tune. All right, so what I want to do is first take a look at the drums here. And I have a drum bus where everything's grouped up. And this really consists of two core loops. I didn't do any crazy chopping up here. You know, you could very well take the approach of chopping up a drum break and resequencing, you know, like you would with old hip hop or drum and bass. This example here just wanted to make it simple. So we're just looping some things up. First thing we have here is this conga loop. All right, we have that time stretched into the project tempo here. And we're also doing a little bit of processing here, running it through uh, this UAD oxide tape recorder. Uh, just get some nice warmth on that. A little bit of EQ, a little bit of reverb. Then we go into the drum break here. This is also another loop, time stretch to the tempo. Really nice loop there. I have that folded down to mono. We're doing a little bit of clipping on here. Just to chop off those peaks, uh, ultimately allowing us to, to raise the volume of our, our track a lot more. Uh, so we use the clipper, chop off the peaks there, and then we have a little bit of a limiter on there to just boost. Boost some volume, uh, keep things where I want them in the mix. And then that's what we get. So these two things, the magic really comes once you layer both together. Now let's talk about synths here. And we're just gonna start with this pad, which is a minor nine coming out of the Korg Triton. Sounds like this. gorgeous pad there. If we pull up the Korg Triton, this is the Lonely Sphinx. Hope I said that correctly. Pad out of the slow synth category. So if we look at the oscillators, we'll see there's this synth air pad sample and then just a saw wave on there. A uh, really nice synthy sound, very old school 90s sound. Uh, play a nice minor chord with that and that's kind of the underpinning of the song. The next thing we bring in in the intro here is this high string. Sounds like this. And so strings are amazing for creating emotion in songs. So, you know, think you have your core pad playing and then you bring in that string a few octaves up over top and play all those single notes in key. And it really creates a nice emotional piece there. So if we stack the two up. And it also creates some interest in the song, right? There's pads, a little static, we're just holding out two different chords. And then kind of in the background, you have that string playing a little bit of a melody uh, that kind of draws your attention to it. So, you know, high strings are great. Use them a lot in drum and bass as well, and great way to just layer things up. Now, this is also coming out of the Korg Triton. This is the oxygen patch out of the motion synth category. And so this is a combination of this bubble reverse sample, 
with this string ensemble playing in reverse. Um, so you get some nice synthy elements, a nice string in there. And so this pad, while it is a string, there's a lot of like incidentals and motion on top of it, which these Korg synths are, are great at doing. So get a little more ear candy beyond just a, a traditional string sample. A little bit of painting on here, a little bit of delay, and that's what we get. Next thing we bring in is this lead here, this little bell sound. So just some more ear candy. We have a lot of sustained elements in this song so far. So the pad, the high string. So we need to bring in that lead, uh, that extra something to try to help get the song to, to stand out. So this is also coming out of the Korg Triton. So if I pull this puppy up, this is a hybrid bell out of the bell mallet category. Love using bells and mallets for this kind of like jazzy uh, down tempo type thing. Again, everything in key here. And so if we stack these all together. So all these sounds are complementing each other. We're really building up that atmosphere and you can just see the power of layering. Next thing I want to look at here is this little trumpety type sound. It sounds like this. So this is, again, from the Korg Triton, and this is actually just a saw wave sample uh, with an electric piano sample. This is the espresso lead. Uh, but to me, this very much sounds like a, a trumpet, like a shitty rompler trumpet. Um, love the sound of it, super cheesy. And again, we're layering here. It is, you know, once you stack it with these other sounds, it's, it's kind of subtle and it kind of pokes out of the mix helps add some additional interest. So if we just kind of solo things one by one and build it up. And these are all of Sonic elements there in terms of synths. And then I will say we have everything grouped up and then just some processing on the synth bus. Uh, another UAD oxide tape, a little bit of saturation, a little bit of EQ, a uh, little bit of limiting. So the next thing I want to take a peek at here are just some additional sounds that you hear in the song. I have these bussed up in the sample category. Now, first thing I have is this saxophone sample that just came from a sample pack. And really what we're doing is taking different chops from that sample, different sounds, and trying to layer them into the song wherever we can fit them. And so we'll play through a few of those. Just an amazing sounding sax sample there. And really what I did is I built up the core of the song, so the synths up here. I knew I wanted to bring in some type of saxophone, so I found those great samples. And again, it was like this process of you know, listening to the full tune, trying to fit each hit into wherever it made most sense. So if we kind of solo the sax with the other elements. <laughs> So that's a great way to do things, right? Going for some of those samples. If you're not a saxophonist, you don't know how to play one. Uh, or of course, you could always go into something like the Korg Triton and just use a, a cheesy sax sound out of there. 
and played in via MIDI. Um, but yeah, this is what we did here. And then we also have this guitar lead. Now this actually isn't a sample. It comes from the Strum GS2 VST. Um, really great VST for guitar sounds. And this is just another riff we have building up these layers. It sounds like this. Right, and then we kind of layer that up with the sax. And you can see again, just we're trying to play that guitar off of the sample there and fit the two in together, right? So. You know, thinking about things like call and response and where elements fit in um, and doing your best, right, to, to play them off of each other. I just said the same thing twice there. Uh, so that's what we get for this sample side here. And then again, we kind of layer that up with the synths here. And really, those are all the core sonic elements, right, outside of drums and bass. Um, so if we kind of play through them all together one more time. <laughs> Next thing we can quickly look at here is just the bass. Now I'm using Moto Bass here, a uh, great VST for just real sounding bass. This is the 70s J bass on here. A little bit of compression, putting it in mono, but very simple. So I love the idea of using a real bass for this song. Of course, just in the essence of this type of music and trying to emulate that style. You know, if you don't have a, a, v, a VST that sounds similar to this or a real bass, you know, pull up that rompler, that Korg Triton. That would have been a very popular thing to do, right? If I don't have a saxophone, again, if I don't have a real electric bass, go into something like that Triton, that M1, and you can get that like really nice, cheesy 90s sound. A lot of good electric basses in there too, um, but that's kind of how I wanted to, to set up the bass in this tune. Then finally, a little bit of atmospherics down here at the bottom. So this is coming out of the Triton, which surprisingly is actually a great synth for sound effects too. Uh, so if you go into this SE category, a lot of great things. This is the birds and bugs patch. And we just bring that sound in during this breakdown near the end. You know, so always nice to get those incidentals in if you really want to you know, build up more of an atmospheric type vibe. Um, great way to just layer those things in. You can pull from something like a Triton or sample packs. And that's kind of the gist of it, folks, how we put together this 90s down-tempo-y smooth jazz type song. Hope this was helpful. Get out there and make some music.